Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> so um, today we're all going to be talking about why do I feel guilty after sex? Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> so um, Welcome. I imagine um someone that has been taught all their lives that oh this thing is wrong. You know, even you know Nigerian mothers now they will tell you that if a man taught you like this, you get pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then for the kind of upbringing I have, the church, you are not even supposed to to go out with your beloved, the, to the person you want to, to be husband, fiance, fiance, whatever the case is. You are not supposed to go out with them. You are not supposed to even talk to them too much, except maybe during courtship when you guys come around, and then. After one day, which is like a church service, and then you're supposed to transcend all of those barriers to having sex with that person for most people that same night, and then it's just very difficult to to process process it and then feel like something that has been taught has been so bad over the years, and then one day it just suddenly becomes the right, and then it's just the right thing like. Do you feel the same way? Like, do you feel guilty? Like, oh, why are you touching? <laughs> why are you touching me? Or uh, you know, uh, seeing your naked selves mm -hmm. for the first time, and you're like, this brother that I never allowed to touch me, and then suddenly, he was unzipping my wedding dress. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. why is that? Why do that guilt feeling? Why do, does it happen? And is there something to do about? Like, I don't know. Yeah, so um, basically, you know, you know, people ask questions like this, like, okay, why do I feel guilty after sex? So uh, I think uh, it should be good we just look at it from two different angles. Okay. The first one could be you are married and then um, you have this experience. The first one could be you are not married and then you have this experience. Oh, I think my yeah. wife started by talking about someone that is married. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will add a little bit to that. Then we move into someone that is not is not married but had sex and is feeling guilty and is asking why the whole guilt after having uh, sex. So if you are married, of course, um, um, it's not something that is good for you to have when you um you have sex as married um, um person. couple person because um you're under law and even biblically you are allowed to um get into that you know um, it, it get intimate with your, your spouse, your spouse yeah. you know when you are married you know but at times this could um, this could happen you know uh, but it's not normal and it's not something you should accept and yeah. it's just something to work on my i think it's mindset yeah mindset yeah, just as my wife explained earlier about you know that experience you've not been doing it together and then suddenly you find yourself on wedding night and then you're getting involved you know it, it, even my wife sometimes even up to now sometimes <laughs> she's dressing or trying to you know and you know you step in like me i'm even trying to hold she's always like you know yeah, i'm trying to i'm trying to dress up i'm like what <laughs> trying to dress up should i go outside for you to please, dress up so me, can't i see please, you when please, you are please, dressing up so please. I think it took us some time actually even when we got married for her to get a little bit comfortable dressing before me or getting naked before me or, or something uh <laughs> you know when we even started then you know we wanted to get involved say of the light of the at light at some you know? point you like so i was like which one why, is of the why light? you always cover <laughs> yourself and i'm like why can i can I not cover myself? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, the truth is that these are, I, 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 I do understand, you know, and, and that's the truth, you know. Uh, just, uh, we just knew to each other and sometimes um, stuff like that could come. So I want to say, yeah, you could be a little bit ashamed or something. Sometimes it comes in. Uh, but, you know, when you start feeling guilt, it's like you, you're done with sex and you're feeling bad, like, oh, you've done something bad, you've done something sinful, you know. So you just need to work on your mind, um, get to understand that you are married, yeah. get to understand that um, um, what you're doing is legal, yeah. what you're doing is not a sin, yeah. all right? So, uh, yeah, you hear people have painted sex so bad and say sex is a yeah. bad thing. So uh, even when people get married, that ideology still gets into them and they see sex as... Some even tell you, oh, don't do this style. If you do this style, yeah, you are I'm a sinner, you are going to hell. So I see, you know, God is so 
uh, he does not even have things to do at all that is now the different style of sex he wants to use to judge people that go to hell you know yeah i think people should uh, realize that um in in the bible they were both naked and not ashamed do you get so mm. even if you feel that way i'm not judging you it might be just because of the mentality you've mm -hmm, had mm -hmm. towards sex and which has been portrayed as really really bad but now that you are married you have to understand that god wants you to have a happy intimate relationship with your spouse and the bed the marriage bed is always on the couch so whatever you do in the confine of your marriage it's all right and then god understands you can pray after having sex you can you can <laughs> you can and then god will still hear you it does not make you defiled mm -hmm. in any way yeah. you can even do it on sunday morning and still go to church it, it, it is really really great you can even enhance your worship mm -hmm. so you have to mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. have to understand experience she's speaking from experience <laughs> <laughs> you have to understand these things so if you feel that way you have to first of all realize that it is not normal and then you have to change your mindset you can pray about it read books and then well it's good you're watching this youtube video to help you change your mindset so as christians we are not ruled by fear we are not ruled by guilt and you should always remember that yeah so that is it guys if you are there um, you, most times it's for newly where they get to have this issue you see it's it's uh it's normal to have to have it as married people it is legal it is allowed so don't allow the devil play with your mind don't allow any thought you know um, um any negative thoughts play with your mind and affect that part of you it's meant for you to enjoy god wants you to be uh, pro reproductive god wants you to multiply you Ooh. know god has put sex Ooh, there as something beautiful yeah. that you can enjoy but within the confide of marriage so as far as you are married you are allowed but before we talk about the single zone something came to me as i was speaking and that will be that some people could be having this experience because maybe you've been raped you know I've, I've had to you know like counsel a few people and that maybe you've experienced issues with rape someone raped you or something like that and then as a result of that you are not married and that feeling is mm. coming back you know because you of the way you the grew up the, the bad experience yeah. with sex you know so you start feeling bad you start feeling angry you start feeling that level of uh, guilt or so you know because the experience you had with it um, uh, initially was not something um, good yeah i could understand that that can happen if that is the case i just want you to um uh, i want you to understand that um all things are passed away you need to still work on your mindset yeah. to put that away and understand that all men are not rapists all right and if all men are rapists there would have been no need for you to even get married to the one to you got married one, to you know yeah. so now uh, if, if he didn't rape you when um you possibly dating or so and now you're married you know legally you can get to do this and enjoy it so i just want you to know that uh enjoy it you know uh try to put that behind you i know it's not easy but if you are struggling so much with this i would advise you to see a counselor just for you to receive counsel um to to talk to you and um and see how they could help you out then talk to your husband too about it or your partner about it so that he or she can get to um understand the situation that can help them in in understanding you and um, how, to uh, how to also help you out of it if that in case that is your situation all right so uh, it, it happens but uh just know that um uh, you have liberty um um now that you are married yeah. you know and um trust god for healing internal healing uh, and yeah yeah that the lord is going to heal you um, um out of this you know Amen. so the other part is that you are not married yet but you get to have sex and now you are feeling guilty about it you know let me start before my wife comes in to say when you're not married and you have sex and you are feeling guilty i think it's a good thing is a good thing why because it shows that um, your conscience is still alive Whoa. you know when your conscience is dead then you don't get to do things that are sinful in a way that contradict god's instruction and then you feel bad but when you because when people are lost in sin and lost in that part you know they can kill they can do anything and they don't feel like they are doing anything yeah. bad but the fact that you're feeling that oh i'm not meant to do this i am feeling bad it shows that your conscience is still alive 
and yeah, your conscience being alive, which has been quickened from death as soon as you gave your life to Christ, it helps you to keep you on check. It helps you to know when you are doing things that is contradicting the will of God or yeah. the word of God. It brings this restlessness in you and make you feel bad, you know. So, but where you will need to put the boundary is that um, when guilt comes in, it's meant to bring you into repentance, meaning that it drags you back to God and make you to go to God and and confess before God, ask for forgiveness, and trust God for healing, and so that you will not continue in this part of uh, continuously getting involved in sex. So it is wrong. We are not in support uh, if you are not married. Um, but we're saying that if that has happened, it does not mean that God has rejected you. It does not mean that um, um, uh, you know you are unredeemable or you cannot now approach the presence of God. That's why the Bible says, "Come boldly." To the, the throne, throne of grace, grace so we we'll say, grace yeah. And so mercy. come boldly, you know, come boldly. Don't allow that to um to rubbish you and take you away from God's presence. Because yeah. when when we sin, you you notice that what the devil does is to find a way to want to take us out of God's presence. But that is when you should approach God's presence yeah, yeah, more, because that's... it's in His presence that we have healings available. Babe, what do you have to say to that? Yeah, I think we we need to realize that God is a good Father, mm. and the same way your Father would not disown you despite of the mistakes you've made is the same way god would not do that so the devil is all about separation so he, at that point he wants to, you to feel guilty and useless and like life is done god hates you right now and all of that but god loves you yeah he wants reconciliation that is what he's looking for so it is even at the time you feel the the, the worst test if there is a word like that or feel at your like worst. <laughs> Well, the time you feel at your worst, and then that is when you, you should really approach the, the throne of grace and mm -hmm. mercy mm -hmm. to help in times of need. And then the most important thing is that um, it is not repentance if you keep going back. Do you get repentance means a change of ways, a redirection, you know? So it, you should not indulge on, oh, God is a loving father, mm -hmm. and then you keep doing the wrong thing over mm -hmm, and over mm -hmm, and over mm -hmm. again. If, if you do that, at some point, you won't even feel guilty yeah, anymore. You just feel yeah, like, yeah. it's just one of those things, right? So you have to repent, then change your ways, you know, reconcile your ways with God, and then make sure it does not repeat itself anymore, yeah? Mm. Thank you. So, uh, just to add to that, you know, the Bible says, can we continue in sin? And then we say, grace does abide. It said, uh, God, uh, forbid. God forbid. Yeah. If you read Titus 2 or 3, it said, it, the scripture was saying something uh, that the grace of God has appeared unto us, teaching us to deny every form of ungodliness. So, grace is a teacher. Grace enables, grace empowers and strengthens us um, against uh, our sin. So, uh, whatever stage you are currently, you know, uh, as we said, you are not married and are getting involved in this. And then, you know, guilt is coming. One is say, yeah, it's good. It shows that your conscience is alive. Yeah. It's time to walk away from that. It's time to turn a new way from that and just say, oh, no, I put an end to this and wait until the right time so that I can get involved in this. Because it's the fact that having it means affecting your relationship with God. Yeah. And you wouldn't want to keep doing anything that is affecting your relationship with God. And as we said, if you are married and you are, you are having that, that's not normal. It's something yeah. you need to uh, yes. walk, uh, walk away from. Renew something you need to mind. renew your yes. mind. Yeah. And then, you know, talk to your um, spouse <laughs> also about it. Yeah. Thank and you. then um, for married people, um, I'd like to hear from you. I want to know your experience. Did yeah, you feel yeah. Did you feel bad? Or yeah. was it like, okay... This is it. Let's mm -hmm. get on with the program. Did you feel somehow, you know, um, your husband seeing your naked body for the first <laughs> time? Or, or, and then over the weeks that followed, how was the experience like for you? We would like to hear from you. Thank you. And thank you for watching our video. Please today. do subscribe. All right? Yeah, please. And do share with someone please. because this might um, heal at least someone. Like yeah. this video and then just show appreciation to us by dropping a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>